Hello fellow auditors and welcome back to the channel. This is Audit Rewind and I'm your host commentator. I hope you're all well wherever you are tuning into from the world. And uh, yeah, we got a big lineup today. Before we get started, drop a like on today's video and subscribe if this is your first time here. We got a bunch of auditors and audit moments I wanted to feature on this channel, react to, do a bit of criticism. First off, we're going to be starting with a channel called Freedom to Film link will be down below in the description if you aren't already subscribed to this channel then please go do it this video shows two friends going down exercising their first amendment right freedom of press they're doing a bit of cop watching now i'm going to leave in the beginning of this video because the auditor actually explains what he's doing with his friend he gives like an introduction commentary which is quite useful and handy but um the actual introduction uh the actual interaction with the cops is very very interesting i think you guys are gonna like it because it escalates quite badly so let's get into this famously unfamous and i were in napanee indiana to do a little cop watching we were in the downtown area we noticed red and blue lights that appeared to be in the area of muriam ave and us6 so we walked eastbound towards it by the time we got there the traffic stop had finished and we got to Muriam Avenue okay, so, it's so like we decided to cross the, the street and start walking back towards downtown a short while later uh, a Napanee officer passed by us going down the street Is that a lawful order? Is that a lawful order? Huh? Is that a lawful order? Is that a lawful order? Don't blame my camera. Is that a lawful order? That's fine. That's what you guys are up to. Well, what are you up to? What's your name and badge? What are you up to? I'm Officer Beer, 843 with the Napanee Police Department. Well, I don't answer questions. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a nice day. Why'd you stop I us? I saw you guys hanging Why out by the gas station. Why'd you stop us? Why'd you stop us? Freely, unimpeded, for no reason. Because it's the middle of the night, I saw so what? you guys up For under what? here. Are, are we suspected of doing something? Because I saw you guys with backpacks on. We were oh, because we had backpacks the business, on. Huh? The business is closed. It's private property. We're walking down an easement. This is an easement. You are now. I came back by. You guys were right here. I'm just this is still an, still an easement. You see those okay. utility poles? I do. Where's your supervisor at? Uh, he's actually working with me. Get him down. Get him down here. A4340, What's your name? Right, Officer Beer. Officer Beer. Yep, Napanee Police Department. Have you partner. been drinking tonight, Officer Beer? No, sir. Can't drink on the job. What's your badge number? 843. What's your name? That's not important. I haven't committed a crime. You're right. 843 is requesting to signal a witness. Okay. You're fine. He's right here if you want to talk to him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm there, sure. Known in Pete Trent, they pull in so he can. This business is closed. So we're a couple minutes into this audit and I'm assuming that this guy that just rolled up is the supervisor. I don't know if it's the sergeant. Probably not the chief at this time of night. It will be a sergeant. But basically, now they're going to ask him a bunch of questions. Now, obviously, most auditors are going to ask, what's your name and badge number? But something as simple as that literally turns this conversation into something that it shouldn't even be like you won't even believe what happens next okay so first of all this guy comes up to them and says why are they being here why are they held here and it turns out they're not even detained the guy the other officer just wanted to find out why they were filming at night and thought that they were doing something suspicious filming the business that shut well yeah so this sergeant comes along and basically says you're free to go but they try and ask for his badge number and that's where this whole thing gets turned upside down so let's get into this next part you're going to enjoy it but it's a nightmare to watch What's up? What's charge? your name and badge number? We're, we're wondering the Officer same Johnson, thing. Why? What's we're, we're ordered to stop we're when ordered we were to stop freely traveling. What down do you mean unlawfully? Do you know what uh, moving about freely unimpeded means? Are you walking on the sidewalk? Reasonable, articulable suspicion. Where were you when this officer approached you? This is a consent. We were on a, I was sidewalk. on a sidewalk. Then go. No, he told us to no. stop. 
So you're not going now. So are you the that supervisor means or are you I am. just his, like, his buddy? I'm the supervisor. Okay. Well, keep so that you're free to go. Well, all times. he said stop, so. I said stop. I asked who you if, were. If we were to keep going, we would probably be hemmed up for... Re what? resisting for when when told by an officer to shit you guys do. to stop okay you guys i'm assuming here? with all the cameras you're out here trying to bait off no no we ain't baiting hey? nothing we're you walking down we're walking down the street is that is, you is that an inflammatory statement no it is not baiting by walking down the road okay you guys can go right. so here's well, what we are going to go but I we were told this way. you were what's your name johnson what's your badge number johnson what's your badge number Okay. You guys are free to What's go. your badge number? Okay, if this you're going to come at me with a no, this is I, I want to know your badge number. Now it's a lawful order for you guys to go. No, we don't have to go nowhere. We're on a public sidewalk. Go. We don't have to go. Okay, do you know what provocation is? What's what's that? Provocation is willingly and knowingly and intentionally coming out of a confrontational state to entice I just I, I just or, asked for your badge or, number. Huh? I think you're in there to the wall with... Uh, Okay. I asked for your badge. Where'd you get your law degree? Where'd you get your law degree? Where'd you get your law degree? Okay, then go. You okay. guys are free to go. We're on a public You're free to go too. Get I don't understand this. Like, what's the point? Is the are the officers really triggered that much that they can't just maybe accept they made a mistake? I can understand their point of view. Oh, some guys are filming at midnight. Yeah, okay, big deal. Maybe it's suspicious, but it's their first amendment right they're allowed to do it and like it's so obvious they are just exercising their rights and that they are first amendment auditors but the fact that this sergeant seemed to like group them into this kind of community of people that he claims bait the cops into behaving badly that's not what we do at all you guys um it's not actually that it may seem like that because some cops act very very badly on camera because they get triggered when they're held accountable but this has turned into some stupid es escalation game now where the officer is trying to give them a lawful order to leave the scene what <laughs> they stood out on a sidewalk two friends enjoying an evening walk doing some filming with their cameras i mean what's going on here this has become a, i think the sergeant is getting a bit his ego is becoming a bit uh, attacked, I think. So let's see what happens next, as this uh, audit still goes on for a bit longer. I get paid the same whether I stand right Well, here. you told us we what to do. All, night, right? all right. Well, when I, when you're standing under <laughs> you that said gas because station, we had backpacks I come back on. by and you're walking you're away. It looks a little suspicious, suspicious so I went out Is on suspicious you. a crime? And then when I said, hey, stop, and you continued to walk. Because we don't that feel like we had something to stop. Else. So, you saw, so you saw them walking behind the building? We were. No, they were they we were got all this on camera, man. Up under the speedway. GPS, baby. GPS, <laughs> right here. I, I don't care, okay? You guys are free to go. You're yeah, we're free to stay, too. Uh, no, you don't tell us when to leave. You are free to go from this spot right here. Free to go, free to stay. We're free to stay, free to go. Okay, whatever. Is a public sidewalk. I don't know what you're trying to prove here. Well... <laughs> We're trying to prove that people get harassed for doing no YouTube. crimes in this say. country every day of the week. You guys watch way too much YouTube where I no. can assume all these videos are going to be found. Um, so yeah. you're free to go. Okay. Well, I'm going to so enjoy the rest of my night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So make sure to stay in public areas. If we see you behind any buildings, we will go out on a suspicious person. And then you are lawfully obligated to give us any information we request. Okay. <laughs> Make sense? <laughs> Please leave. Oh, All right, beard clear. I can right. kiss your ass. Kiss mine. Wow, that's very unprofessional. This is your public servants in Napanee, Indiana. Plate number 5260. Plate number 9, John. Napanee, Indiana, you guys. Look at this. So there's no crosswalk available right there. I'm gonna need your name. Do you know ID. what the statute is for Indiana? Crossing yes. the street outside a crosswalk, you yield to says, any traffic. It says when what? there's a crosswalk available is when you can cross traffic. Where's the crosswalk? All the way, all the way back so there at the light. At the so light. So I gotta walk all the way back to the you light. You do. So that's state law. You just told really? me to recite it for you, so I did. Name and ID. Okay. I'm name a, and ID. I, I, I'm gonna give that to you. Okay. But, but I'm also, I'm also gonna file a. You're also gonna what? File a complaint on Go you. Go for it. Yep. Go for it. <laughs> 
He said he says I, I can't cross outside a crosswalk. Uh, that is what I said. You cannot cross outside a crosswalk. Huh? If, okay, I'm doing my job, so you stay over there. This is a completely different incident. <laughs> hey, remember the 25-foot hey, hey, wall. Hey, hey, re yeah, remember the 25-foot wall. Remember that name, too. Remember the name? Why? <laughs> remember that name. Why? Remember that name. Why? Remember it. You just, hey, you, you want you to just, get an intimidation you, No, you just brought up the 25-foot law. I'm saying remember that name. Do you know the 25-foot law? I do. What is it? Uh, it, anybody that encroaches within 25 feet of, of an officer during, uh, you know, a scene or something. Okay. Yeah. So, Perfect. so, so, so re, I'm just saying, remember that name. Remember it. Remember the name. Yep. If you know the 25 foot rule, I suggest you stay on the other side of the road. I suggest you, uh, you can get it right here, buddy. Yeah. All right. So he's running. He's running my ID because but... I crossed the street. What's that? He's running. He's running my name because I crossed the street. Yeah, you didn't use a crosswalk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you guys know what the statute is in Indiana? Do you know for, the for, statute? For, yeah, I do. If you cross outside a cr crosswalk, you yield to the traffic. There was no traffic. I crossed the street. They don't know the law. Bro. They don't know the law here. You obviously do. <laughs> okay. Run that name. <laughs> This to me towards the end was petty policing in my opinion. I feel like the cops were watching them and I don't know how much later on this second clip was because it kind of cut and went to another scene. It looked like they were in a bit of a different area, I might be wrong. Maybe they were watching them as uh, Freedom to Film and his auditing friend walked down further down the sidewalk and tried to cross. I personally think that those laws, well can you call them laws, they're probably just penal codes and policies. I doubt the constitution mentions anything about crossing the highways being illegal without going at a designated crossing zone. I mean, it probably, let's be real, the constitution is a law of a land laid in stone and uh, protected with blood. So I don't think they'll mention little petty things like that. Um, after all this, I think the cops were fishing because they realized these guys stood up for themselves. They had self-respect. But the guys were respectful to the cops. They only started getting a bit, you know, uh, I wouldn't say nasty but challenging because this sergeant seemed to be just unprofessional he seemed to be quite rude in my opinion uh, he, at first I felt like his ego was being threatened so he changed his behavior his demeanor he felt a bit challenged so he started to become a bit sarcastic with them I don't know it's, the whole encounter just feels so off with me and the fact that at the end they forced him to do an ID um, just because of crossing the road. I mean, pretty crazy, you guys, but yeah. Anyway, go check out this channel. Link will be down below to Freedom to Film. Go subscribe to his channel. Excuse me, what's your, what's your batch ne number? Up next, we have a rather tense traffic stop, which I thought you guys would be interested in looking at. This is by M. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just M. Uh, I will leave a link down below to the channel though, because uh, I'm not expecting anyone to find that channel by typing M in. In this case, uh, we have a guy who's being pulled over and um, they asked him questions. Has he got any weapons? Does he have any drugs? Etc, etc. But apparently, after he said no, he doesn't have any drugs, they continually were persistent with asking him the same question over and over again, as if they were accusing him of having it or trying to get him to confess to having it so this video he decided to get his phone out and start recording the interaction between the cops where again he catches a lot of unprofessionalism and some rather questionable policing so let's hop right into this video and do a bit of reaction and criticism and uh let's take a look what happens next excuse me what's your what's your batch ne number what is it 288 okay so let me tell you what happened he asked me if i had drugs in the car and i said no he said are you sure get them insisting over and over you're acting like i'm not gonna take you to court you're gonna lose your job over this you racist mother i already told you i have no drugs no guns i have my son and i'm going to work i'm late did you realize i'm hispanic dude you're hispanic i don't care dude you work for the cops you're, you're, you're so, a sellout bro you're an idiot an idiot I already told you I have no drugs, no alcohol, and no guns. You kept on insisting and insisting. I have, I have to ask. What's your name? Morales. Morales, 288, got it. I'm gonna take you to court, Morales. 
Good, I'll see you there. Give me my license back. You uh, said you're not gonna give me a ticket and you're gonna give me my license back? And now because I, I told you that's racist, you kept on suggesting over and over again? Yeah, I'm gonna take you to ticket. court, dude. Go ahead. For what? Because you kept on insisting if I really don't have drugs or guns in the car. And what's your legal standing on that? What's my legal standing? That I, I already told you no. And? So if I was white, you wouldn't have kept on persisting and persisting and persisting. How would you know that? Dude, because you're a cop. What does that have to do with anything? Because cops started off as slave catchers. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Slave patrol. No, they didn't. Dude, give me my license back. You said you're not going to give me a ticket. I got to go to work. You can wait now. Oh, you my God. And what's your badge number, too, please? Can I know your badge number? 213. Two, two, this guy was going to give me back my license. He ran everything. I showed him my insurance and my license. And he said, okay, but are you sure you don't have drugs? Are you sure you don't have guns? After I told him three times already, no. And I have my son in the back with me. Y'all don't have anything better to do in the morning. Get a real job. I'm sorry about this up here. I got my son in the back, by the way. You're acting like I'm not going to contest that ticket and take you to court, Morales. Yeah, flick me off. Everything's okay, The only thing he could do is give me a ticket. He can't do anything, up here. Don't worry. All he could do is give me a ticket, and I'm. Brown lives than you ever will. Bruh, don't even kid yourself. You're not a medic. Look at what you're doing in the morning. Look at what you're doing in the morning. Oh, yeah, don't worry. 9 a.m. I've done this for almost 10 years, boy. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about boy? it. Boy? Really? I'm not a boy. Sir. I'm not a sir either. It's 9 a.m. He stopped me, he ran my license, I showed him my insurance. He smirked and kept on asking me if I don't have any other drugs or any drugs, I'm sorry, any drugs or guns. After I told him it's just me and my son in the car. And after I told him that's racist, he said he's gonna give me a ticket for that. Abuse of power. Everything's okay up here. This is not the first time. This is why we gotta read books like that. No rights. I told him this is racist. Oh, excuse me. Habla español? Oh, uh, these cops stopped me. Uh, for, they kept on suggesting that I have guns and drugs. I have my son, and he. Can you be a witness? Ma'am, can you be my witness, please? I have my son in the car, and the cops stopped me for a traffic stop, and he ran my, my license and insurance, and everything was good. And he kept asking, do you have drugs in the car? Do you have guns in the car? I said, no, three times. And I said, I have my son. And then I said, he kept, when after he kept on asking, I said, that's racist. And then he said, oh, you think I'm racist? I'm going to write you a ticket now. And now they won't let me go. And my son's crying in the back. It's an abuse of power. He, I was, he was giving me my license back and he kept on asking, are you sure you don't have drugs? Are you sure you don't have guns? I'm just trying to get to work with my, and I, I got to drop my, my son. Can you just be my witness, please? Yes. He's saying that that's not racist because he's, because he's Hispanic, but it's, it's not even about being Hispanic. I already told him the first no. There's no there's no reason this should be happening at 9 a.m. He was dragging and I said, can you please just give me my license back so I can go home, take my son to his mom. He's like, oh, I'm not being racist because I'm Hispanic. I'm going to write you a ticket now for no reason. 
I don't care about the ticket. I just want to. My son's crying in the back. He wouldn't ask white people if they have drugs or guns in the car over and over again. And he called me boy. He's acting like I won't take him to court. And he's just dragging a preference because I told him I have to go to work already. And he said, I don't care about that. And I kept on asking people to be my witness. And the white lady just said, that's not my problem. <laughs> Can you please tell me his squad, the, the number in his car, please? One six two five six. Thank you. I asked him if he was recording the, the whole interaction, and he said, "No, we don't have body cameras, so I have to record for my own safety, my son." He kept on harassing us. I told him my son is already of age. He doesn't need the car seat. He's, a, he's already over the weight limit. And he's just stalling. Here you go. All right, get a real job, man. Okay, you can keep crying. Try harder. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can, can I know your name for or, or anything like that? Uh, are you comfortable giving your name in case? Because I do want to take him to court. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. This lady seemed pretty reluctant to help, although she did actually stay nearby and continue witnessing the whole thing. I feel like this was so unnecessary. Why was this Scott stop even conducted? I don't know at any point in this video. I've seen the whole thing like twice. And I can't seem to find anywhere in this video where the cops mention any reasonable articulable suspicion to pull over this dude and his son and they're traveling on the way to work to do a hard honest day's work. I don't understand why and it took quite a while. It was like, I don't know, like this video was like, what, 10, 15 minutes long? So, and he only started filming after he had been stopped. So he could have been at the side of the road for like an hour for all we know, or like 45 minutes. So. I think this is really bad but I could tell he's getting emotional and you could tell his son was too but all in all I think he handled it pretty well and um, if you want to know any more about what happened here then I will leave a link down below to his channel in the description go show him some support and um, yeah things like this happen all the time across America and obviously other countries too I feel like um, singling people out the police need to give a reason they need to have that articulable suspicion they can't just go around saying hey you got any drugs hey where's your weapons when you have no criminal record no uh, suspicion or anything it's rather bizarre really and it once again comes back to that little saying that i created called petty policing fishing cops who are bored and have nothing more important to do well you guys thanks for watching today's video Unfortunately, we've made it to the end. If you've made it this far and you haven't liked the video, please drop a like to help support this channel. Go subscribe to these channels that were featured today and uh, Freedom to Film and M, links down below. I've been your host commentator. This is Ulrich Rewind. Stay safe, stay well. Peace out.